Hey, what up Long Beach? Welcome back to the562.org. It's Mike, and this high school basketball video is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rib Company. All of our Long Beach Poly coverage this year brought to you by Juju Smith-Schuster and the Juju Foundation. Good luck in the Super Bowl on Sunday, and Jay on Brown and Playfair Sports Management. We are in the Ron Palmer Pavilion, Long Beach Poly hosting Alamany in a Division I playoff opener for both teams. Jack Rabbits, that's my favorite borough right there, Brooklyn Taylor and the rest of the squad looking to open up the playoffs with a dub. And hey, is Brooklyn in this mother mother? <laughs> she came out the junior always looking to make an impression. Love the roll to her left, drawing the foul as well, getting Polly on the board, but Alamany building a sizable lead. You see they do have a, a advantage in the paint and they would end up rolling out to a 22 to 10 lead in this game. Kind of rocking Polly back on their heels. This is a young Polly team. A lot of freshmen, sophomores, juniors in the mix for this team. And you kind of saw that inexperience early in this game. They weren't really sure what to do with themselves. So, call a timeout. Polly coach Carl Bug says, all right, let's dial it in. They've certainly been here before. And then Taylor with the block. Jasmine Schamberger active to grab the steal. It's always going to start with defense for Polly. That's exactly where they got it going. Then Taylor going to work in the paint, trying to get her team back into it. And then watch Nevea Lemons coming in off the bench, making a huge difference defensively. Knocks the ball loose, then draws the foul. She's going to the free throw line where she would hit them both. You could just see how fired up she was, and she really picked up the energy for her entire team coming in off the bench. Schamberger driving it. You can see the Jackrabbits developing some confidence in what they're able to do. Running to their spots. Schamberger off the backboard to herself. And then Taylor, see what I mean? One move by you getting to the 10. Jackrabbits will cut the lead to 28-25 at halftime as they close on a 15-6 run to end the second quarter, doing a great job of turning Alemany over in that second. This is Layla Boykin. Shout out to her, the younger sister of Polly legend Sheila Boykin. Two points for Layla. And then Schamberger with the whopper from the corner. Jackrabbit starting to get hot from outside in the third over the top of that Alamany zone. And then Nevea turning lemons into lemonade. As I said, you could see she knows where she's going with the ball. Jackrabbit still locking down on defense. Taylor, one of her four blocks right there as the game is tied. And then Whopper, 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 Schamberger with the second three in the third quarter. And then Andrea Perkins starting to step up as well. She hit two huge threes in the third as the Jackrabbits come from down 12 in their own gym to start to take control of this game a little bit. All of a sudden, they're up 40-34 to 34 going into the fourth after trailing 22-10. Up six and only gave up six points in that third quarter. They're going to continue to look to Brooklyn. She had 17 points in the game. And then Jelena Talia Uli drawing the charge. That poly defense really, really turned it on after a slow start to this game. But Alamany not going away. Doing a good job of making their free throws. That one of just five field goals in the second half. But it is going to cut the lead to just five points. However, the Jackrabbits good enough down the stretch uh, at the free throw line. And then watch as Lemons comes out, fouling out of the game with her fifth foul. Watch the love she gets from the poly coaches and she get the same reaction from her teammates. Really a lot of respect for a girl who came in off the bench and picked things up defensively, helped Polly turn it on, turn it around, and get a 54-47 win over Alamany. Jack Rabbits will advance in the Division I playoffs and play at Esperanza on Saturday. Coverage of that and everything else, Long Beach Sports, you got to keep it right here.